All right, welcome back, ladies and gents. This is the Killer Nacho, and um, this is my Pokemon White playthrough. Last time we went through a um, undead tower so we could fight the gym leader. Um, however, we didn't have enough time last video, obviously. So here we go. We are going to challenge Skyla, and between you and me, you know, he tells us all the good types against flying, which is rock, ice, electric. Yeah, I kind of already know that, pal. All right, so. This person has cannons in her gym, which is extremely... Ow! You see me bounce off that wall? This is extremely unsafe. You know, I should probably contact whoever it is, you know, to make sure everything's safe in this world. You know, the government. Wait, there is no government. This is an anarchy. At least I've never seen a government. Ah, <sighs> whatever. I guess people are going to get away with this. Somehow I'm not dead. Um, so anyway, here's a Tranquil. And um, that is a flying type Pokemon, meaning it should be weak to my charge beam, which is a um, electric type attack. And I'm going to get some special attack there, which is special. And um, now it's going to taunt me, which is great. So I'm just going to try to finish it off with Electro Web, except it has Detect, which is a big waste of time. Thank you. Um, so yeah, let's just use another Electro Web since it's yeah not probably not going to Detect twice in a row. At least I hope not, because that's a annoying. Um, so here's another Tranquil. Yay, Tranquil! Hopefully I can just kill this one with one Electro Web, but of course it's going to detect for no reason in the beginning of it. Um, so yeah, there's that. Alright, hopefully Electro Web will kill after the uh, special attack boost, and it does! Very nice. Alright, so Worker Cliff is blown away. Like, you know, in a cannon or something. So this guy is like, just looking the other direction, so I'm just going to talk to him, because I feel like battling my Pokemons with his Pokemons. Uh, to get experience, of course. Alright, so here's Worker Brady. I wonder if he's related to Tom Brady. Probably not. Okay, so here's a Ducket, and that's a Duck-type Pokemon, which is a Water-slash-Flying. Um, and that is a dead Pokemon as well, so it's a dead-type. Mm -hmm. Alright, so now Lovebug's level 35, so that's pretty good. And he's gonna try to go into Woobat. You know, I'm just gonna stay in with Lovebug and kill this. Um, Woobats are just kind of annoying, I don't really feel like switching. And I don't quite kill, unfortunately. It's going to calm mine, but that's pointless because it's going to be dead next turn unless he uses an item, which would be weird since I don't think workers ha typically have items. Now, as you see, these workers, they have a hard hatch, which is a pretty good idea since, you know, these cannons seem dangerous. You know, I go flying through the air and then land. These, these would probably kill me um, in real life. Thank God Pokemon in the universe makes no sense because now we can fly in cannons and not get hurt at all. I mean, maybe this is why... Team Rocket and Team Plasma and all those other evil teams don't use guns, because the normal things don't kill a person in this universe. Because, you know, obviously flying through ca these cannons would probably kill someone in real life. Um, so that's my theory. Okay, so, like, I guess, um, yeah, I guess just, uh, force is just, you know, quick projectile weapons are not dangerous in this universe, which is just... Strange how why the laws of physics will work out that way. All right, but anyway, so here's Ducket, and um, Ducket is now dead because of my two side beams. Now he's trying to go into Siglyph, and I'd have nothing really to do with another Siglyph, so I'm just going to switch out into my troll, who's you know pretty trolling. He's a rock type. Rock types are pretty good against flying types in general. Um, he's going to try to reflect, so that might actually keep me from killing with rock side, unfortunately. Except it doesn't. Oh snap! Because I critted. Nice. And now Troll is going to get some nice experience there from that Siglyph. And his altitude is declining. About Apparently he's about to crash. I wonder if that would kill you in this universe. That's an interesting question. Wee ow. Um, wee ow. Hello, pilot. What's up, man? Target lock acquired. You silly, silly man. You can't kill me by shooting me down, remember? I've already established that I'm immune to, um, yeah, projectile weapons. See, I, I understand. Not to mention you don't have an airplane in here anyway, so there's that. Um, so yeah, Unfrizzent, which is I think the fully evolved form of the Tranquil line, and um, obviously it likes spamming to tech twice in a row. It tried to do it three times in a row, but the game was like, okay, I'm not going to be that stupid. And, um made it fail, so now it's going to die because it didn't try to detect four times in a row. <laughs> Alright, well, that was easy. Let's go fly into the cannon. Wee Ow! I'm just saying ow. I'm just simulating how much 
you know, it probably hurts in this universe. Maybe it doesn't hurt at all. Hello, work. Well, I guess. Then why? What's with the hard hats then? Why even wear the hard hats if you're me? Like, even like what? I'm a 15 year old kid in this game. 12, 13, 14, something like that. A little, if like a little kid like me can use these things without even getting hurt, why? Why? Why with the hard hat, man? Why with the hard hat? Ah, <sighs> whatever. So he's gonna use amnesia, which is kind of silly since I'm using fly, which is you know not a special move, but he's probably too stupid to know that. Um, he is wearing a hard hat after all. So. Yeah, that misses because I was up in the air, and now I crit with the fly, meaning that's a dead, um, yeah, Woobat, or whatever the evolved form's called. I think it's Woobat, I don't know. Um, no, uh, did he say something with a discount double check? Probably not. Um, so anyway, let's, uh, switch out the front member of my party, and then we can go into this cannon and go, wee ow! Ooh, look back to the rings, wee ow! We ow! That is just unsafe. I'm gonna sue this bitch, man. You know you have an unsafe gym. People can get seriously hurt. For that, I'm gonna destroy your Pokemon. Did I enjoy it? No, I was terrified. Somehow I didn't die. I have no idea how. But you are a menace to the world and must be stopped, Skyler. Prepare to die. Alright, so here comes a Swoobat, which is actually the name of the second form of Woobat. Which I could not remember when I killed the last one. Whatever. I'm gonna try to Rock Slide. It's gonna try to Amnesia, which is kinda silly because Rock Slide is a physical move. You're making the same mistake as your underling Skyla. So, you're not really that smart. Alright, I understand. So, at least the Swoobat is dead and my troll can level to level 35. So now you want to go into a Swana, which is a swan type Pokemon, the evolved form of the duck. So I am going to go into my love bugs. My love bug is going to be trolling those. Well, no, love bug doesn't really troll. He just loves things too much. Well, he's going to love this swan a little too much because this swan is a water flying type and it's going to get completely killed by my charge beam, except it survives. But um, I get some more special attack, which is not bad, and now I can 2 it KO it at least. It's just going to Aqua Ring for some reason. Um, it's gonna try to air slash me, and that does damage. It's actually quite a lot, so that's kind of sad. But the swan is dead, and that's what matters. And, um, yeah, that's not so bad. And Unfrizant, which is the fully evolved form of Tranquil, this one looks a little different. I have no idea why. I think it might have something to do with, like, the seasons when it evolves or something. It's gonna try to, like, Razor Wind, but I think that's, like, a two turn attack, and that means I can Electro Web it to death. And now it's a dead. Unfrizant, unfrizant. There you go. And um, level 36. Oh boy, I think that is the special level, the level in that is special that I evolve. Yeah, money. Love bugs gonna evolve into a Galvantula. Galvantula is a really cool Pokemon, yo. Man, look at my Galvantula. It's all cool and stuff, man. Anyway, so Skylar, you have been defeated. I demand that you take down these cannons. Whatever. At least you give me a gym badge, which is good. You were incredibly easy, so I don't even know if you were really running at full strength, because you made some pretty stupid plays. I mean, obviously the amnesia was a gift, as well as, wow, well, you pretty much, you made dumb play after dumb play after dumb play, you're a terrible Pokemon player. Alright, so, at least you give me acrobatics, which is a pretty okay move. It does more damage if you don't have an item. Um, I try to give all the, you know, items to all my Pokemon, so I'm probably not going to use acrobatics. Anyway. So, you saw Team Plasma. They are the retarded type of people. I wouldn't worry much about them. They can't get themselves in much trouble because of, you know, their IQ is so low. So, I wouldn't worry too much about them, Skyla, but I'll handle them for you if you want. Alright, so hopefully this goes low enough so I can take off her head, but of course not. Oh, well. At least I can leave this crappy gym. Hello, N. What is up? Um, you can't really talk to Pokemon, can you? Are you really talking to my Pig Knight while it's in the Pokeball? Because, you know, I haven't sent it out. And you know all that stuff by talking to a Pokeball? That's really scary, dude. I think I have a stalker. I think you found this out in, like, Facebook or something. What? Wait, the hell's Facebook? Facebook's not in this game. What are you talking about? Legendary Dragon-type Pokemons? What? Just because you have a 
legendary dragon type Pokemons that may or may not exist? Your plan is awful. I've never heard such a stupid plan. Yeah, okay. Well, you're a jerk. Get out of my face, Ed. Man, that guy's such a jerk. Probably just retarded. Parents didn't love him enough as a child or something. Yeah, that's gonna be my guess. Um, yeah. I don't know why I'm down here. Because I have to go up there and heal my Pokemon. What's up, dude? Yeah, planes are ships designed to fly. You're so smart. Oh, so cute, so cute. Alright, let's go, um... I don't know why I'm talking to you. Uh-oh, people have their Pokemon stolen from Team Plasma. OMG, guys. That's so sad. Oh, yeah, this is the move the leader and move we're learning. I think I already explored this place. Okay, so let's go to the Pokemon Center heal my pokes because, you know, when Pokemon are injured, you should go to the Pokemon Center and heal them for free. It's a free service, guys. So now you guys know what to do when your Pokemon gets hurt. You go to the Pokemon Center. And if you've ever played any Pokemon game ever, you know that. But anyways, this is a guy that can actually tell me what hidden power your Pokemon are going to learn. That's very useful. It's, it, it's an upgrade from previous games, I would say, where you just had to use trial and error to determine. Oh, wait. That's something I want to do. Let's go into this house, because this house has something. Um, that's just a sign that says Mistral and City. But this is the house that has something. Yeah, I have a jet badge. Yeah, man. Oh, a treasure at the end of the runway, you say? Run away, run away, treasure at the runaway? And this guy's telling me about vegetables at the runway that I don't care about. Okay, let's go over here. I want to find their treasure and steal it for myself. Um, hmm, there it is. Aha, now that your treasure is mine. <laughs> Stealing from kids is awesome. Oh, crap, they caught me. Yeah, I guess I should give it back. Oh. Yeah, but it's still like stealing if I take it, isn't it? Oh, not if you give it for me. Why does your sister always sound so weird? She's like, you will get, we will get it. I don't know. I have no idea. I forget what she said, but she always says, ah, whatever. I'm leaving this crazy town. And probably going to enter an even crazier town soon enough. Soon enough. Aw, oh, crap, I fell in. And then a wild encounter happened because I don't have a repel up, guys. OMG. All right, so here's a tranquil. And um, actually, it might be decent experience, I guess. So let's just flame charge it. Hopefully, it'll be like a 2 hit KO. And it's not. Lovely. And it's gonna try to taunt me, which is cool, except not really, because, you know, taunt is a weak attack. Well, yeah. I mean, I'm not really using a non-attack move, so it's kind of pointless if you're thinking about it. And it's gonna try to air cutter me, which isn't so weak, because, you know, air cutter is a flying dip attack. And it's gonna detect me, because it's trying to waste my time. Stop wasting my time, you freaking tranquil. Now you're dead, so now you can waste no one's time. And Bacon's gonna get some meaningless experience points. Alright, so these walkways, they're kind of cool because you can try to avoid, like, wild encounters with them. Um, but I don't think they do anything else besides that. Um, they're kind of fun to walk on, test you out your balance. It's kind of hard for me since I am playing at, you know, 150% of the speed of the regular game. That person is yammering, um, sure. Ooh, Granny! Can you make me something? I want some delicious soup. I guess not. Yeah, my Pokemon team is kind of worn out, so thank you for healing them. Random Pokemon Center lady in the middle of nowhere. Alright, so. Um, let's use a Max Repel, because there's an item over there I apparently neglected, so. Might as well just go grab it now. Max Ether, not too bit shabby. You know, I might find a use for that later in the game. <clears throat> um, the X Transceiver's ring. Lovely. Who wants to talk to me now? Hey, Ma, what's up? Yeah, I'm on Route 7. I suppose. Uh-huh. Oh, Senior Trainer Mom. Wow. Just when you thought moms couldn't get any more corny. Now they're in your Pokemon games. Well, they always were, but they never called you on your stupid phone. Well, I guess in Gold and Silver they did. But that was to tell you that they spent your money. My mom just called me for no reason, guys. What a waste of time. Alright, so anyway, here's an Amolga. And Amolga is the flying Pikachu Pokemon, so I'm going to kill it, obviously. It's going to try to shockwave me, which is, like, not super effective. And I'm just going to, like, flame charge, because it's, like, my attack of doom. And it should be a 2 hit KO. And then I get static. Lovely. Um, it still should be a 2 hit KO. Uh, Acrobatics is super effective. And it has no item. And it kills me. Crap. Stupid Amolga and your stupid acrobatics. I should kill you for that. 
Probably will. Alright, here comes Troll, because Troll is going to be kill the stupid flying Pikachu with, um, you know, a rock attack, because flying Pokemon are weak against rock. He's gonna try to shockwave, but then it, like, does no damage, so the joke is on him, guys. Um, so here comes Siglyph, and Siglyph is, um, another Pokemon weak to rock, so I might as well just keep in my Bulldore, my Troll, to troll it. And, of course, I get confused off the side beam, because, you know, the game always gets confusion. Uh, so, yeah. It's going to try to light screen me, which is retarded since I'm just going to try to keep using Rock Slide. And I even snapped on Light Confusion and used Rock Slide, so there you go. Happy ending, guys. Except my, um, bacon fainted. Hey, no, killing my bacon is uncool. Losing for you? That's perfectly cool to me. Alright, let's go, um, yeah. We can, uh, go heal up my Pokemon. We heal up, um, Troll, and then I guess I have to use a revive on bacon. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, I probably could have just gone back to that Pokemon Center lady who's just over there. Whatever, I like wasting items, it's fun, guys. Um, alright, so this is the super tall grass, but I have a reflect up, and I can just grab this TM81X Scizor. And, um, unlike Acrobatics and Aerial Ace, which I really can't fit on my Pokemon team right now, I can't think of a use for X Scizor, since I know it's stronger than Bug Bite, which is currently on, um, my Battle Bug. Which I have not actually used in this video, I think. Battlebug is feeling kind of neglected there. And, um, yeah, he's actually only level 34, too, so... Yeah, he'll get his chance, don't worry, guys. Uh, so anyway, these clowns apparently love walking on these walkways. I don't know why, but I'm just gonna wait for this guy to run into me so he'll battle me. I love raised walkways! Bouncing is fun, I often come here and play. What are you, a grown man? In a clown costume running on walkways? You know... This is what Japanese people think of Americans, apparently. Anyway, so Tynamo, he's the, the uh, levitating electric thing, but this one's the weak version, so I'm just going to not kill it in one hit, unfortunately. Um, Bacon is going to take a crit, which is unfortunate, because Bacon has been seeming to get a lot of bad luck lately. And, um, yeah, but at least the thing's dead, and I get, like, useless experience points. So now he's going to go into Ducket. I'll keep in Bacon, because I want experience, except... Yeah, I actually don't have anything to really hurt Ducket now that I'm looking at my attacks, so I have to switch. Um, yeah, let's just go out into Battle Bug. Give Battle Bug something to do. He's gonna try to, like, awkward veil him, or so. That gives him some minor healing. I know that, um, Razor Leaf isn't super effective thanks to his flying type, but it's still dead, so that's good. Um, so now he's gonna go out to Tranquil, and you know what? I don't really want. And you do my level 34 is to fight a flying type, so I'm just gonna go out and troll because, yeah, a lot of flying types in this video. Between the gym leader and apparently all these people who also have flying type Pokemon, so uh, it's gonna be kind of hard to uh, train Bacon and um, Battle Bug, considering they're you know not exactly good against flying types. So now Troll's level 36 and trying to learn Stealth Rock, which is a very good move, but in competitive Pokemon, not so much, not very useful in the uh, actual game because you know. Uh, Enemy trainers don't typically switch out, so uh, it's just you know one-time damage on each Pokemon, so it's it's not very good. Very good in competitive Pokemon. If that was like a competitive troll, then I might consider it. All right, so here's Twist Mountain, and as I was trying to walk up the walkway, Sharon, of course, comes over here saying that he wants to see who's stronger because that's all Sharon cares about. He's like some kind of ADD kid. I think I've already said that. Stronger, 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 that's all I care about. Stronger, stronger, stronger. What a jerk. Alright, um, Unfrezant. It's probably going to detect because that's what they do, so I'm just going to switch. Let's go out to Troll. Anyway, so this one's going to try to Air Slash. It actually doesn't detect. Lol. Alright, fine, let's Rock Slide to kill this thing then. Now it's going to detect, of course. Somehow the gaming knows exactly when I'm going to attack and when I'm not. Um, and it's going to try to taunt me now, but that's kind of failed because I'm using Rock Slide, and that is a should be a dead uh, unfrezant, but it's not, of course. Um, yeah, strength, strength, whatever you say, Sharon, whatever. And um, yeah, detect my other Rock Slide jerk. You know what? Screw uh, Rock Slide. I can probably finish it off with a um, Rock Smash. It's neutral, so. And of course, I don't. Lovely. Um, at least I lowered his defense yet, and even though he has like 1 HP, and I flinch and I can't move. Ah, man, troll. This troll really needs to evolve. Like I said, it'll do it in two levels, um, since I edited the game code, so. In level 38 it'll evolve, which should be, if not next video, the one after. 
Oh well, so he's gonna air slash again because that's just what he does, and now I'm just going to kill him with Rock Smash to the face. Or I guess to the beak? I guess. Alright, so here comes Duat, which is his, um, you know, water type starter thing. So I'm gonna go out into Battle Bug, because Battle Bug is gonna, like, Razor Leaf its face off, because that's what it does. Um, so Razor Leaf should do decent damage, and it'll die, of course, because it's super effective. So that yeah, gives Battle Bug a chance to do something. So here comes Simaseer, um, which is the annoying, you know, fire monkey. So, I'm just going out to Bacon. I do have Bulldoze. I resist his fire type attacks due to being a fire type myself. And I have Bulldoze, which is super effective, so I should have the advantage here. Of course, that faint Flame Burst attack seems to be doing okay damage, and Bulldoze, unfortunately, won't be a 2 KO. So, let's heal up Bacon, because uh, I really would like Bacon to get some levels here. Um, so, Super Potion, that's pretty good. And now I can use Bulldoze, hopefully, two in a row, just to kill this thing. Um... So there you go. Bulldoze, and now Simsir. One more would do it. It's going to Flame Burst. Obviously not kill, and um, Bulldoze should kill it right now. And it does! Yay! And, um, yeah. So that's a dead thing, and I'm level 35 for the epics. So his last Pokemon is Lyperd, which I can probably deal with Bacon as well, being a Dark-type. I know it's probably going to fake out, because that's what his Lyperd has, so I'm just going to, like, heal up first, because healing is good for your health. Um... So now my HP is restored. He's going to fake out, which is, yeah, like I said, predictable. Um, and now he's going to try to hone his claws to raise his attack and accuracy. And now I'm just going to, like, arm thrust since it's super effective. And uh, he has a berry, apparently. So that probably won't be a 1-hit KO, even though I got the crit. Oh, well, it'll be a 2-hit KO. And let's see, he's going to just torment, so he's not even going to take advantage of his hone claws. And, um, yeah, that would be a problem if, like, I missed this attack. Because then I would be able to use it twice in a row and stuff, and you know how it is. And, uh, Bacon's almost level 36, which is good, since that's where it evolves. In fact, you know what? I want to evolve at this video. Oh, wait, what's it? Oh, it's that champion guy. And he just jumped off a cliff and, apparently, took no damage whatsoever. So there you go. People are indestructible in this game. That, 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 that confirms it. Uh-huh. So now he's just talking about, you know, weak, strong philosophies with Sharon, and some, he, how he reminds him of some dude named Marshall, I have no idea who that is. Um, and now he's giving me stuff. TM, or HM03 Surf. Very useful attack, but I haven't gotten my water type yet. I guess you guys can leave a comment about water types, you know, that I can get somewhere soon before I need Surf, because I think I need, do I need Surf? I don't know. I don't know where I need Surf. I don't know, but tell me about water types around here that I should use. But as I said earlier, I do kind of want to evolve Bacon this video. Um, I know I'm a little over time right now, 23 minutes and counting. However, however, guys, um, I'm pretty close, so why not? This thing is a bold door, which I might be able to take out with Bacon by himself. Um, let's try Arm Thrust, it's super effective, and it does nothing, so maybe not. Baldor, I mean, it's pretty trolling Pokemon, you know, it has, like, the fences and such, so, um, let's just switch, and I'm gonna go into my Battle Bug, who should be able to kill it with Razor, ah, Razor Leaf, and, except it's also weak to rock, so that's kind of bad, it's, like, good and bad at the same time for my Battle Bug, and, um, yeah, as you can see, it's not a one hit KO, and it nearly kills me with Power Gem, but it does not, because that's how awesome it is, let's test out Shadow Claw, because it's a cool attack, and now it's dead, and my battle bug is level 35, and now he's going to go out into Girder. Um, so I'm just going to go out into my Bacon, because Bacon did not level, so I need to get him some more experience and such. Um, but now I can just go straight into Pinata, because I think I'll get enough experience if it just had, you know, to level, so. And therefore evolve. And I can evolve two Pokemon in one video, how exciting will that be? Alright, so, let's just go for a Psybeam, which is super effective on Girder, and that is the game, that is the ball game, folks. And Bacon does indeed get to level 36, and is trying to learn a crappy move named Assurance, which it'll never learn, because I will never let it learn it. Um, so anyway, this is a B-list mountain, apparently, and that's just great. And here comes Bacon, guys, he's gonna evolve into a even gianter Bacon. I think. So here we go. Freaking bulky bacon for the win, an Ember. I get it, guys. It's like a play on Ember and Boar. Ha <laughs> ha. 
Actually, a pretty good name. That's one of the few names in this gen that are actually pretty good, because, you know, I don't know. Just a good name. It's, it's like that uh, Gen 1 feel. You know, when you hear about Embor, you think, oh, it's a, it's a fire pig. It's a good name. Anyway, so, Scald. Um, now that it's evolved, it can learn Scald, which is good, because Scald is a good attack. Um, and let's get rid of the crappy Arm Thrust attack, because Arm Thrust is a terrible attack, and one should never know it. Um, yeah, I'm done with Arm Thrust. I mean, I know it can break subs, and it can uh, break, you know, sturdy Pokemon and whatnot, but it's just not worth it, because it'll never want to KO this Pokemon anyway. Uh, so yeah, let's go into the Pokemon Center and heal my Pokemons. Hello, Pokemon Center lady. And there is actually one more attack I want to get my hands on, because, yeah, it's a good attack. And to do that, I'll have to go to the Move Relearner. I did get that Heart Scale earlier that I thought I would never use, but, you know, people in my comments reminded me that I can use it to get Arm... Um, uh, hammer Arm, sorry, on my Embor. And, yeah, looking at my moves, I kind of want to keep Will-O-Wisp, so, and I want to want to keep Fire Move. Um... So I'm actually going to get rid of Bulldoze. I mean, I already have ground moves on my um, troll, so... It doesn't really need it. I'm going to get rid of Bulldoze and get a better move. Because, you know, ground fighting is kind of redundant since, you know... Usually it's redundant because ground and fighting do this, you know, common, uh, super effective. Anyway, Raycom subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye.